armed with my trusty DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and Sony ZV-E10 and Tamron 18 to 300 mm combo, I went for lunch at the historic Hanno Louis Manouk restaurant in Bucharest in Romania. Chronologically, I filmed this before the previous two videos. For me, it is interesting because it records a transitional moment. I made a conscious change in how I thought about videoing shots in relation to one another. Through this whole photography and videography journey over the past 18 months, I can pinpoint moments where I grasped some fundamental aspect of the process. From the basics of shutter speed and aperture, through to composition and lighting. There is a difference between knowing something and embodying it. I knew that having a range of shots at different scales, from wide angle to extreme close-up, was apparently a good thing, but I hadn't really understood it on an intrinsic level. I think this is because I've been thinking about each image in isolation. Each shot represents a moment, a point of interest. They just happen to be in one location, so technically I can loosely string them together in some form of logical sequence. I am not actually thinking in sequences though, or rather, not yet. The simple act of videoing something and then taking a closer shot of some detail to draw the viewer's eye, or inferring some connection or reaction elsewhere, all seems like basic filmmaker stuff. I feel embarrassed to admit that I'm still learning things on this level, but we all have to go through it at our own pace, don't we? I've seen many videos discussing the Kuleshov effect, the idea that two shots in sequence are more impactful than a single shot, including the well-used clip of Alfred Hitchcock looking at a baby and a lady, but I hadn't internalised it. When I was recording this video, I physically felt something shift inside, in my thinking. It felt like I was thinking across shots, not just of each shot in isolation. It was like realising there's a third dimension. So now I get to start to explore that. This realisation doesn't mean this is a good video or that I have mastered everything up to this point. I am a novice in so many aspects. One of the purposes of this vlog is to try and capture something of the creative process and development. That getting better takes time and practice and thought and moments of realisation and experimentation.